this is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com with a fun Sizzix Easter tutorial for you. This can be done with your kids super easily or by yourself. And let's begin. Here's a brief rundown of what you will need. We are using this Sizzix Scoreboards Excel die. It's Eileen Hole's box candy drawer. And you use um, mat board to create the, bo the box base. And we're just using the drawer. So this is the drawer. You'll also need pieces of cardstock to cover some of the mat board. And I'll put these dimensions up at the end of the video. The square is 2 and 3 eighths inches. And then the rectangles are 1 and 3 eighths inches and 2 and 3 eighths. Also up on the blog, I have this template. These are for our bunny ears. You'll need some pink felt, white cardstock, a large fuzzy cotton ball. You can find these at your craft store. Some white plumbers and some various washi tapes. and your wood egg. Before you put this at craft out for your kids, I highly recommend you assembling the box um, to begin with, just to make it easier on the kiddos. And you're going to use some red line tape. This is the terrifically tacky tape. Just assemble it super easy just make a box on the score lines put the bottom right there once they're assembled now you can have the kids add the pattern paper on the inside with their glue or if they're comfortable using your adhesive gun, you can do that as well. I'm just going to lay down some cardstock. To make the bunny ears, I have this template, and this size is perfect for the little candy drawer. And there are four, so you can do you can have this make this crap with four different kids per sheet. And this is something fun that they can do on their own. You just cut out the bunny ears. I would do one side, the white outer part of the ear, and then the other side, the pink inner part of the ear. And then you can just flip it for that other side. So once you're done, you just trace them onto your cardstock and your felt. Now you just cut them out. Now you're ready to glue everything together. You can use craft glue or hot glue. I have both options. Um, I think I'll use the hot glue just to make it fast for the video. For your kids, they can definitely use their craft glue. And now you take your pipe cleaner and you just glue it along the edge. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time. Make sure to leave a quarter of an inch down at the bottom. So both my ears are done and the reason why I added 
the pipe cleaners is because it makes them a little bit bendable. So you can do like one cute ear down and one cute ear up or both of them just slightly down. So now you take this and you sort of determine what's going to be the back of your box. And for me, I'm going to make this the back of my box. And you just glue them right there on the inside. You can use your red line tape or you could use your hot glue. I'm going to use hot glue. You can move them around until you like it. And now you adhere your other panels. The finishing touch is to glue the little bunny tail right there on the outside of the box. Again, you can use craft glue or hot glue. And then you can add some filler into your little box. Some crinkle cuts for your egg. So that's part one of the tutorial. For part two, we're creating a really fun um, little wooden egg, and my kids love washi tape. Whenever they get the opportunity, they, they steal a bunch of my washi tape. And this is just a different take on like decoupage. It's a little bit easier and less messy. So the first thing you want to do is paint this white. You don't have to, um, but my kids like to get messy, so we're going to paint it white. And you can use gesso. Um, which is a primer, or you can just use regular old white craft paint. When your egg is finished, go ahead and apply strips of washi tape and tell your kids to just have fun with this. I would start with the dark colors and then go with the light, but you pretty much just put them anywhere and keep layering until your egg is completely done. Once your kids are done having a ball, ripping the tape, you can take a thicker or an alphabet sticker and you can have them make their name. I'm just gonna put an initial L for Lily. That's my youngest daughter. And then you can have them put it in their little... So just have fun with it. Again, this is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com with the fun Easter craft for you and your kids. Thanks for watching.